Welcome to the Topic Development presentation. We're going to cover finding a research topic that's just right. The reason that it's worthwhile to spend time working on your research topic before you start searching is there is a lot of content in a university library. If you don't have a good idea of what you're looking for before you start, you can really waste a lot of time. A good research topic takes the Goldilocks approach. Not too broad, not too narrow, but just right. Topics that are too broad are like pouring a bucket of water into a big bathtub. The water spreads out wide, but it is only about an inch deep. For example, alternative energy, outsourcing. These are interesting topics, but they are huge subjects. There's no way that you can cover that much information in a research paper. If you try to do it, you won't be able to write meaningfully about any particular aspect of your topic because you'll have way too much to cover. Your paper will be very broad and very shallow. Topics that are too narrow are like a tiny drop of water. For example, how alternative energy initiatives in Oregon elections affect growers of genetically modified corn that gets shipped through Dubuque, Iowa. Topics that are too narrow are frustrating to research because nobody has written about them and hard to write about because there's not enough to say. You'll want a topic that's just right. Here's what I mean. This is an example of a topic that's too broad. A lot of things happened in Iraq last year. Civil unrest, relations with neighboring countries and the U.S., the weather, way too many things happened last year to cover in a paper. This is an example of a topic that's too narrow. You can look up the numbers and write them down, but then what will you say for the rest of your paper? This question takes research to answer, but it's not good for a research paper. It's almost just a math problem. This is an example of a topic that everyone agrees on already. You won't find any credible expert arguing against crime prevention. This is a special case of too narrow, where there isn't a real diversity of points of view on the topic. Look for a topic where there may be controversy or respected experts disagreeing. This one is good for a think piece or a position paper, but be careful with this kind of question. You can't really research the future. This is a special case of too broad since it's a speculative topic. This is a pretty good topic. You can research the effects of union representation and arrive at a conclusion about whether the effects are good or bad. You could refine it by looking at one type of public employee or one union. You can compare types of employees that are represented by unions with those that aren't. Beyond asking whether your research topic is too broad, too narrow, or just right, you should also ask, so what? It's not enough to relate the history of your topic or just give the facts about a person or group. A history or a set of facts is usually something that everyone agrees on. You need to go further and do some critical thinking about the facts that you find out. So how can you get started? Most students start out with topics that are too broad. It's just common sense to start with a general area of interest and then home in on a research question from there. Thinking about the five W's, who, what, when, where, and why, can help you brainstorm different ways you might narrow your question and get more specific with your topic. For example, for research on Google's energy consumption, some who's would be Google employees, subsidiaries who run server farms, public policymakers, environmentalists, utility employees. This slide shows a where, it's a solar power facility that Google helps set up in the desert. When you give this a try, you might find that you're kind of weak on one of the W's. For example, if you're weak on whens, you might list really vague times like the past, the present, and the future. If you can't get specific with the W's, you need to do some more research. How will you do this? Well, where do you usually look for information? And what's usually at the top of your Google search results? Are you allowed to use Wikipedia? 
Generally, no, because anybody can change any page at any time. So you're not going to use Wikipedia for your research. You're not going to cite it in your paper or reference it in your paper. But right now, when you're trying to define a research topic is actually a good time to use it. You can use the table of contents for an entry to identify the five W's and follow external links and references to other information sources. PSC Library provides access to lots of other reference sources that don't have the same problems as Wikipedia. The thing is, if you can talk about your research topic for an entire minute without stopping, then you are ready to formulate a research question. Being able to fill a whole minute with the ins and outs, the ups and downs of your topic, means that you have the background information it takes to come up with a really good research question. And where does this background information come from? Google it, read the Wikipedia entry, look at library reference sources, talk to friends, keep current in the news. Doing a little bit of background reading now can help you find a great research question that makes your library research process much more efficient and saves you time in the long run.